Okay, um, welcome back. Um, so this is a video that probably largely just applies to students here at IU. Um, and this has to do with uh, maybe, maybe my new understanding or improving understanding of how, how library share, sharing libraries works within Fusion. Um, so um, what's going on? Uh, we, we've got this library um, that, that I exported and I shared with the class, and that library, um, that exported library, included the component and, the, and the, the schematic symbol and the footprint, but did not include the 3D model. It turns out that that's something that's not packaged in a normal library. From the old Eagle days, it wasn't important. There wasn't a, um, there wasn't a 3D viewing sort of modality in that tool and so you know um, there was some exporting things that you could do uh, to pass things back and forth between Fusion that kind of came late uh, but as this has sort of evolved in Fusion 360 Electronics um, there's still some eagle things that that, that remain um, where the, the, the mechanical models are, are not part of the library. Okay so enter this thing called library.io which was a mechanism that allows you to Pass, li pass libraries and include things like um, the mechanical models, okay? And it turns out that library.io has a different format than the libraries that are stored in either, uh, you know, Eagle or uh, maybe they're the same as Eagle, but they're definitely not the same as Fusion 360 electronics. And so, so um, we're gonna pass the, the, the data for the class this semester through library.io and so to, to, to bring that library into Fusion 360 Electronics, there's a, there are a couple steps you've got to take. And so I wanted to show those. So what I'm talking about here is, you know, this, you know, if you look at the web interface here, um, I'm in this folder called SICE Embedded Systems, and uh, it's this embedded systems library here. So this is, you know, all sitting out on the cloud, of course, with like all the other Fusion data. Now, in the future, I expect Autodesk will just allow you to share right out of your hub, out of your design, uh, your design space, your team, so to speak. Uh, I guess that's the vernacular that Autodesk calls them, your team. Uh, you'll be allowed to share stuff out of that team and into, and allow other people to pull it. And that'll kind of keep it all within the Autodesk uh, fan, you know, Autodesk sort of um, ecosystem. All right, so uh, to, to make this work, what you've got to do, as it turns out, is you've got to um, um, go to your libraries folder. If you notice, I'm in my libraries folder. I've got the, the board up here, but that's some, somewhat incidental. So I'm in my libraries folder here, and I'm going to create a new library, a new electronics um, library here. And so it's going to be blank, all right? <clears throat> and so... So uh, the next step here is I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I'm going to call it, you know, whatever you want to call it. I'm, you know, I'm going to call it my size class library. It doesn't really matter what you call it. It's going to be whatever name you want it to show up as in your in your folder. All right, so I'm going to save that. All right, so now here's where the the sort of linkage happens back to that library.io. If you go to manage. And you go to library.io. You can use this little this little you know link to a managed library, or you can do link to manage. You know, obviously with anything that's Fusion, there's multiple ways to do it. So uh, I'll click on the little icon here, and so I'm going to go and grab one of the managed libraries here, and it's this embedded systems components here. Um, you should see that in your list as well. If I if I go to here, um, I'll get the same thing. Like I said, it's the same it's the same actual. Um, actual it's running the same command in the background all right so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna say replace the current local library and say okay and so now I've got it right and so now I've got this library locally and so since it's in my libraries folder it should show up when I go to add it into a design so I can add these parts and you'll see it's got things like um, this mechanical model here of the light sensor, which has been kind of a, a problem here since we didn't have that model and it's necessary to, to line it up. You know, it also has things like, you know, the, uh, let's bring that up, the, uh, the, the oscillator, and it'll have other, you know, other things that, that are necessary for this particular design. So, um, so there it is. So that's your, um, 
that that's how you bring that library in. And again, now that, you know, if I were to go, um, say out to this light sensor schematic here, um, you know, I could go and I could, um, um, let's see, so I could filter, I could look at my libraries here for, whoop. And then here to size. Maybe I'll just search here. Well, maybe I'm maybe I need to go and enable it. So let's go. Let's go and do that. Maybe it's not enabled. So let's go here and uh, look for size. There's the size class library. It looks like it's enabled. I must not have um, been patient enough here. So let's go back. And do size. Okay, so it's there. And so oh, all libraries. Size. And so there are there are the the components that are sitting in the the size component library, so I can grab this guy here and uh, you know and have at it. So I can I can go ahead and, and and I'll get all of the you know I'll get the same you know from from the original library that was exported. I'll get the exact same um, footprint and symbol, but now I get the mechanical model as well. So so that solves that problem. And again, you'll have your own name for that library internally, and uh, you can have at it. All right, so. Uh, um, that's it for this video. It was kind of a, a sort of explanation of how how the the um, fusion uh, the, the libraries.io ecosystem um, can be integrated with Fusion 360 Electronics. And, and like I said, I think that's a transitional thing for Autodesk, from what I've read. And so I think that down the road, it's gonna you know it's all gonna be done in teams. I think they're still you know dealing with a lot of eagle users, and so I think that. Um, that, that these sorts of things have to be, you know, transitioned over time. And so I think that right now libraries.io is, is part of that transition. All right. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, we will um, see everyone um, the next, on the next video.